Today I will show you how to make this crazy paint texture effect. Yo, it's Bovikas here and let's begin. Alright guys, so here I have a clip from Lil Tekka, Half the Plot music video and this is just a clip of a girl walking. And what we can do here is just press Ctrl Y to make a new adjustment layer. And on top of the adjustment layer, we can start to add the effects that will make the whole paint texture look, I guess, I don't know if I call it correctly, it looks really cool and there will be like two variations. So the first effect I like to add here is as cartoon paint now for this tutorial you will 100% need the sapphire plugin the sapphire plugin is incredibly important for this tutorial and here the only thing i really like to change here is i like to make the edge threshold to 0 0.58 oh yeah and another thing i like to do is go to the frequency and here i like to make it to 89 now you will start to see it's already like a really cool paint effect and you can yeah, just use it like this but i like to keep going i like to make it even better so another effect that is optional here to add, it's S invert. Now I like to use S invert for the like the, the other different variation and already that looks cool, but I like to turn off the invert luma and here I like to make the scale lights to 1.37 to make it brighter, but we made it brighter because we're going to offset the darks a bit more. So I like to make the offset darks to minus 0.4. Yeah, SN word basically made this like ghost kind of look, I don't know, like more cinematic. Yo, I don't know how to call this look, but that just looks amazing. And another effect I like to add here is S Dissolve Auto Paint. Now that is a long name for an effect, I'm not gonna lie. And here I like to make the Dissolve Percent to 5. Now we're going to make it even more cartoony. Now this effect basically what it did is it made these like extensive paint points. Like look, so if you don't like them, then you can just not add it. But I think these look even better. These look even more painty, I guess. I don't know if I like you can call it that. Here, one thing I like to do is I like to make the dissolve speed 50. And another effect I like to add here is fast box blur. But this is an effect that you cannot add if you don't want to have this look a little more damaged. I like to have like the paint look a bit damaged. I almost like any look a bit more damaged. <laughs> except for color corrections. So here I like to make the blue radius to two. It's a little controversial if you should have it here or not. I, mean, I like to have it, but you can also turn it off and just not have it, so it's up to you. Another effect I like to add here is S Flicker. And here I like to make the amplitude to 0.4. And now S Flicker is probably by the name you can guess, it's like flickers the exposure. I like to have it on most of my effects and to make this effect cooler, I added it here, you know. And the last effect I like to add here, which is 100% optional. I just want more glow here because it's very dark. I like to add deep glow too. Uh, you can also add just the deep glow first, uh, both are paid plugins, by the way. Nowadays, you can't really get deep glow one. So I'm going to add deep glow two. And here I like to make the exposure to 0 0.1. Instead of deep glow, you could have just added normal glow and you could have made the glow radius like 150 and the glow intensity to like 0 0.5 it would have looked something like this i mean then you would have might have needed to duplicate this effect and maybe made the glow radius to like 75 and the glow intensity to like 0 0.3 and the threshold like way less and this would pretty much give you another really cool glow but yeah i'm just going to use deep glow because i think it's a way better glow than the other glow yeah i just made this effect while i was my, at my grandma's that's why this you know background looks like i'm at my grandma's because i literally am at my grandma's i gotta remember this is just another iteration of this effect like you could just use it without s invert and it will look like this now when you have it turn on like this i would personally recommend to turn off the fast box blur and also the deep glow but yeah that's pretty much it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyways it was fun have a fun and productive day see ya.